in today's video I will show you how you can repair the parking distance control unit equipped on uh, Volkswagen Group cars. They tend to, to have an EEPROM error. You have two ways. One I will include there, it's a nice software uh, made by Danny Guit 2000. This software you can buy it. It have a, a cheap price, 30 euro. For example, if I open the EEPROM, it will say EEPROM it's in PDC it's corrupted. We will have the software, the hardware, the date. I will not repair or save. I have this the EEPROM file. Normally for this specific part number and this type of uh, memory for 3L40K it have 2 kilobytes there are some memories also with 4 kilobytes but this one I can show you how you can repair also manually so normally I have opened the EEPROM everything is here so what you will need to do just FF everything uh, here, here, until here you need to have a FF data and I think uh, until uh, here everything needs to be FF. I will make, I will save the file as a new file and I will load to see the new status of the file. Okay, I will skip, I will go here. Well, of course you can select and uh, this tool I'm not very used to make everything FF. It's its hex comparing tool. But I will do manually the FF. I think I'm right. This area needs to be marked as FF. Okay, a little bit to go. <sighs> One more row and we are finished. So everything else it's uh, FF as you can see. So we will do save all or save us. I don't have save us. Let me make a copy of the file and I will save the save file. It's keep the same name. So I will open again. Uh, it's giving a, an error the software because the file is being used by the hex editor. Let me close it, open again. As you can see, the EEPROM in PTC is correct. It made manually the solution. If I open the backup copy, I have the EEPROM corrupted. If I open the file which I did manually correction, the EEPROM in PDC it's correct. So let's repair. It's repaired. I will save and uh, I will leave like this repaired. Software it's open. I lost my hex camp. One second. Okay, hex camp, it's opened again. I will open the file which I corrected manually myself. And I open the file which has been repaired by the software. So there are no difference found. 
as you can see the software it's repairing uh, the solution which I already provided manually the software it's very helpful when you do a lot of repairs you have different uh, failures not all the repairs are the same but most of them depend of the part numbers are the same so if we compare again another store uh, let's see this is the one with error this is repaired so the one from below it's repaired by the software you can buy the software the software it's looking like this it's helping you a lot in different cases if you don't have a uh, experience to do it manually or you don't know the solution then I advise you for 30 euros to to get this software it will make your life easier I will add uh, a picture with the units I have on my working table with different issues but I did not want to make a video how to read the EEPROM because you can read it very easy with VVDI Pro or any other tools the schematics are included in the tool you need to solder a couple wires and hit the read button anyway if you like the video please subscribe like share it and see you next time thank you bye bye